I see these guys, they have jobs. Yeah, of course. And they feel bad, and you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want anyone to feel bad for going about their day. 100%. And I know there's probably one guy who's just doing this job to feed his family yeah, or something like that. He comes in, he's just like, man, I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, and yeah. he's going about his whole day feeling like a piece of shit because yeah. of you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's like, you know what I mean? You have, you have your thing, you have your whatever like that. I just... I, I feel bad for them. Yeah. Because you know they're just doing their job. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Are you happy for us to start filming? Of course, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I mean, look, I, I appreciate it. And the whole purpose of this is uh, we have signs saying no hate for the drivers, no hate for the workers. And this is how we believe. I mean, mm -hmm. for us, these workers are, are part of the system of exploitation as well. You know, they, a lot of the mm -hmm. time, they're lower income families. They come from immigrant families. And they don't always have the options and possibilities that many other people in society do, including yeah, yeah. myself and others. So it, by no means is anything against them. I appreciate that obviously they're going to be made to feel guilty in some situations. Mm -hmm. but. It's more about the fact that we have to raise attention to what's happening in these places and many people simply aren't aware and to say this facility kills 500,000 animals a day is, yep. is a huge number. I mean, how do you feel about that number? Do you think that's, that's, that's a high number of animals? Oh, it's, but yeah, but it's, just a, it's a supply. It doesn't really matter what the number is. Absolutely. So it's a supply and demand situation, right? So yeah. one thing that we want to do by being here is show people the animals, help them connect to the animals who have been killed for their products mm -hmm. to hopefully reduce that consumer demand and in essence reduce the supply that, that's, that's brought here. Yes. Um, bearing in mind, let, let's, let's talk a little bit. I know you want to talk about health and stuff. We can do mm. that as well let's let's keep it a bit broader no no you know what well, we could keep it to whatever you want to talk about man i'm i have, I have a multi-opinion on everything oh my man v very very educated that's the kind of thing i like yeah. so let's think about it this then so how do we justify doing these things to animals what justification do we use people need food the companies need to make money dude and do we need in terms of food do we need to eat chicken to live no but i want to okay and not specifically me but let's just say like if i was if doing. i was talking for the quote unquote human race whatever you want to call it yeah. some people don't want to yeah. you guys and yeah. some people do want to right and we shouldn't like we should educate them yep. on it but if they still want to make good decisions or bad decisions which you guys would say yeah um i i believe people have the right to do that do, do you apply that to anything else in life if someone wants to do something are they automatically justified to do it 100 percent, as long as they're not imposing on other people's uh freedoms what about the freedom of the animals i don't believe in the freedom for the animals we're number one uh, uh, humans animals humans animals uh, honestly we're number one but are we animals oh yeah we're animals so what makes we're the, us we're the, we're the best animal but what in what sense are we the best what makes us the best well, the fact that like you guys are all recording me on devices that have taken literally hundreds of years to collaborate together, yep. I think we're doing better than monkeys. So intelligence defines worth of life? I wouldn't say intelligence defines worth of life, but it's definitely going to tell you who's <laughs> the better one out of all of them. We, we, are, the, we are the apex predator. So in a, in a fight, you versus a lion, who would win? A lion would kick my ass any day. Okay. But, but, you're, but, you're if, but if you get lion society versus three guys, yeah. lions will lose every single time. So you believe that might makes right? Might doesn't make right. Okay, but in the sense that you're saying because we're apex predators, we're allowed to do mm -hmm. these things, there's an argument that might makes right. I wouldn't say that might makes right, but since we are the we're at the top, so we have to do the best for us. Now, what I I would come on your side and say, is this the best way to do it? Oh no. Oh, oh my god, I would never say this is the best way to do it. Okay. We our, our system is so broken, so bad, we definitely all need to stop eating a lot of meat. Okay, we need to reduce a lot we need to reduce our intake, period. So okay? why do we need to reduce our intake? We need, well, everyone's too fat, to be honest. So health reasons? Yes, health reasons. Everyone's much too fat these days. Okay, and what is it about meat that is unhealthy for us then? I wouldn't say meat is unhealthy for us. I would say sheer quantity of food. Uh, but surely, like, let's say if we ate too much like broccoli, you're not going to get overweight from it. If you were to eat 3,000 calories of broccoli a day, ah, okay. which would be physically but it's not impossible. Feasible. Right. Yes. It, oh, yeah, it's sure. It's way easier. But at the same time, you know, sugar is natural, right? You get sugar, you dump some sugar on that broccoli. Oh, I'm eating natural, right? Well, there's different types of sugar, okay? one, one You thing, eat sugar you know. cane all day, you're going to get fat, buddy boy. <laughs> can, can we, it's about can, calories can, in, calories no, but out, right? Can, we could agree to that. No, and if, that's what yeah, I'm saying. We need yeah, to all reduce our calories. Right. Reducing meat would definitely be a big thing because, I'm, well, Americans, Canadian culture, you. European culture is not too bad on me. They're still pretty I shitty. Wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't they're, know. they're still pretty shitty, but they're not yeah. they're not as bad as the Americans. I would say we definitely all need to reduce our caloric intake. Okay. And then what's going to be the byproduct of reducing our caloric intake is we're going to be eating less meat. But the thing is, you can reduce caloric intake and still be satiated by eating plant foods because plant mm -hmm. foods are calorically, you know, obviously have less calories in yes. them. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So we're rather than reducing animal products, we want to live a truly healthy life. Let's eliminate animal products and get our calories purely from plant. But, but how do you know for sure that's a truly healthy life? Because I don't know, because there's a lot of, um, like any vegan athlete or any vegan people who are big in the thing yeah. usually are supplementing. Most, there are, very, I think I know maybe one or two vegan YouTubers who are 100% vegan natural, no supplements. And, what, and by supplementing, what do you mean? Supplementing protein, supplementing, and you do, know, do, anything else. Do animal based or animal meat based athletes, do they supplement with protein shakes? Oh, 100%, yeah. Right, so what's the difference there then? The difference there is that like, what I'm saying is like, they're still eating meat and they're doing that on top of it. I'm saying if you guys okay. were to take out the protein shakes and take out all the B vitamins and supplements altogether, I, 
I don't know the science on this 100%, but I right. would say the vegan diet wouldn't be optimal for performance. So that, is that based on conjecture or, or scientific opinion? That This is going to be a little bit of uh, of my opinion, obviously. Okay. I'm going right. to take that 100%. Sure, sure, sure. I, I appreciate I, you. Yeah, I would, no, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be 100% on that. Let's say instead of the chickens in this place, mm. it's now dogs, okay? If someone wants to, you know, kill all those dog, dogs and eat them, is that okay? If they have the, if they own the dogs, then yeah, sure. And how do you own an animal? You buy, you buy the land, you bought its mom, you bought its dad. So if I go to a shelter and I rescue a dog from a shelter, mm -hmm. say a Labrador, am I then justified to beat that dog and kill them? Not justified to beat it, but I don't agree with it, but it's your shitty right to do it. It's your, not even right, it's your a shitty ability to do it. So, but you think it's shitty to do that? So is it oh, shitty? Oh yeah, you shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be beating a dog. So is it shitty to, to kill a chicken? Of course it is. Ah, but you partake in something that you admit to be shitty. Yeah, of course so, I do, just like you guys do. In what sense? Did you guys drive here? Ah, yes, okay, uh, interesting, I see where you're gonna go. No, no, not, not even that, I'm not yeah, even gonna yeah. go down that road. Okay. Do you know how many millions of animals are killed to like, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I need the, I need the road, you let's know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know how many millions of animals are killed to make the freeway? Uh, or like to make my home, or like to make like that? I so would, so what would, about those animals? I would advise that it's not millions, but I advise that animals do it's die. It's hundreds of thousands of animals get killed a, a day on the road. Right. So veganism Just from even getting run over, right? Course. So veganism is, is, is never gonna be perfect. No, 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 of course. can live this perfect. Yeah, yeah. But something like driving is a practical thing that, you mm. know, well, most we could walk. Have to do. Where, can you walk to work every day? I can. I live close. Most people can't, though. Most people no, don't but have you that know, much. But like, so if you if you go back to that, people want to have a more complicated job. Why don't we all just be farmers then? And then and then you'd be okay. Well, we can all grow our own our own plants. That would be probably. optimal, to be honest, it right? Actually, that, that, that would be pretty optimal. In health -wise. But the point is, what happens? I'm like it, one chicken. What happens in this place <laughs> isn't necessary for anyone, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of I, I, the comparison's there, but the, the comparison is very different because yeah. just because bad things happen to animals in the pursuit of building freeways doesn't mm -hmm. justify what happens in these slaughterhouses. Oh, okay, no, th yeah, th that is a good point. But like, it's one of those things. It's like you don't want to participate in a shitty system, right? This system knowingly kills thousands of animals a day. So right. wouldn't you think to be like, you know what? Maybe we should, guys, let's go Amish. And just ride our horse? No, no, seriously. I'm but not, we don't ride horses, no, no, vegans. Either, no, so. no, but like, okay, you don't ride horses. Let's <laughs> being, go. Let's go hyper vegan Amish, <laughs> and like put the horse in the back, and we carry it kind of thing. Right. So like, m my thing is like, if you're gonna keep going down the line, it's like this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Yeah. It's like everything people are wearing here. Someone has died, probably died to get it done, well, or like no, children no. have had to like like. If you're really gonna keep going down that line, everything we do is participating in a shitty system. But shouldn't we try and create a better world? Like, why shouldn't we address yeah, those, those I think systems? We, I, I think even you, if even I, if ones that mm -hmm. even if ones that aren't related to necessarily what's happening here, we should still address them. I, I hardly believe that the garment mm -hmm. industry is terrible and it should be addressed and we should buy ethically and second hand. And yeah, such yeah, like, yeah. Just because bad things happen on every level doesn't mean we shouldn't do our bit to try and stop them wherever we can. And not buying these products is one of the simplest things that we can do on a daily basis, mm -hmm. right? Because it's something we partake in three times a day. So by far, it's one of the biggest forms of oppression that we partake in. We don't buy clothes every day, or at least especially not three times a day. Yes, exactly. So, right, <laughs> otherwise, that would be very greedy. But the fact is, we do this three times a day so let's let's address what we can address and let's address the biggest issues what if i what if i would say to you i could reduce um but yeah would everyone be happy if i could reduce meat eating by 66 percent tomorrow we'd be happy but we wouldn't stop that no no good i'm happy you wouldn't stop okay you never stop at your goals good <laughs> but if tomorrow I could reduce eating meat by 33%. Everyone would be happy? I'm oh, sorry, 66%. We would we would be like, that's great, but it's not enough. Okay, it's great, but it's not enough. So I eat once a day, yeah. right? If everyone were to eat once a day, 66% right. of food would just... Of course. And then industries would go down, everything would go down. Places like this probably couldn't exist. But they would exist on some level and animals would still have to be killed. So so your goal would just be like no animal killing ever. No animal use. No animal use ever. Yeah, wherever possible, because it's about necessity. And back in a day where it was a necessity mm -hmm. for us to eat, to hunt, to survive. So now it's not necessity. Exactly. So that's why it's not just So what, what do you say to people in third world countries then who right. who use like animals, you know, as their livelihood, let's so just this say. Is why What's I, your argument there? Well, I'm not in a third world country. Uh -huh. so I'm here in, I'm here in okay. Canada where you and I could very easily not partake in these industries. Okay, okay, so, so, so you're, I'm not, so you're not talking about... Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's the thing is I'm not going to go to Uganda and tell a family that have a yeah. goat because that's not, you know, <laughs> That'd be a little rude, right? <laughs> so it's about necessity and right now, it, and also this is where the majority of the sufferings mm. happen. Like there's no slaughterhouses killing half a million birds in those countries, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very different. So let's, I'm addressing the system where it's worst and where it's most prevalent and also where it's most unnecessary. Let's deal with that So first. what's your, um, my, my question to you would be, what's your, our system is broken and I would definitely say like our system maybe has like a broken arm or like we're kind of like you know like maybe crutching around I would a little say it's bit decapitated right it's Yeah see I, it's, I think I think that's where we're kind of we're at the disagreement there you think we're walking around like you know like a dead horse and right. I just think the kind of horse has like a bad back Okay but we can fix that right We could fix so the how, bad how back How do we fix that We could fix the, what my thing would just be if everyone tomorrow like I do 48 hour fast 24 hour fast 72 hour fast Yeah Let's just say tomorrow or everyone even here did a 72 hour fast right. for everyone in the world, all 7 billion of us. Literally these corporations would have to shut down. 
but the, the, at the end of the day the demand's still going to be there and the, the problem is even if we reduce the demand still exists which means even if it exists just for one animal per mm. person per week yeah. there's still one animal too many we should there's no need for us to do it at so, all but are you trying to impeach on like people's like freedom to eat animals but it's, uh, to be honest, I don't believe it's a freedom to inflict harm and oh, suffering okay, onto another. Okay. Because so that's, to, why, that's why, because you don't believe it's a freedom. Right. Okay, no, so that makes some, sense. Some people say to me, look, you know, I, I believe in personal choice. And I said, well, uh -huh. look, the reason I went vegan was for personal choice. The choice is animals who would like to live. You know, we can buy something else in the supermarket. They can't have another life. So we should grant mm -hmm. them their choice just to not be exploited. You know, if they had that choice, that's what they would choose. Mm -hmm. would, you say, um, would you say hunters are at fault? I mean, if again, in necessity, but there's no reason for us to be hunting. So yes, I would say they're at fault. So like, I um, what's it called? I'm I'm recently actually getting into hunting. Yeah. So I'm gonna get my hunting license uh, in October. For deer. Uh, what's it called? For deer. For deer. Are it's, you hunting deer? Yeah, deer. For deer. So uh, I wanna basically I wanna get venison, right? Okay. I, I've always wanted to be deer. um, very attached to my meat. Okay, okay. So I want to I want to be there. I wanna I wanna kill the meat. I wanna yeah. skin the meat. You wanna kill the animal? I wanna. Yeah, yeah, the meat. Yeah, yeah. The animal. The, yeah, because I'm going to turn it into meat. Yeah, but it's an animal when yeah, you kill so, them. Yeah, so it's an animal yeah, when yeah, I kill them, and then yeah, it's yeah. going to be meat no, when yeah, I just, eat it. Yeah, yeah, just of fun. course, yeah, it's an animal. It was alive and I killed it. Okay, good. Preferably with a bow, but that, you know, that's tough. So the, the idea is I want to be there for everything. I want to be like our ancestors. And I think if everyone were to actually hunt and grow all their meat, well, then we wouldn't need factory farming. But and why? we wouldn't need to kill thousands of these animals. We could just well, reduce the population very, you know, easily. And then the, the next generation would be able to come in and thrive. So like a lot of hunters do that and they keep their land they keep their land good so that overpopulation yeah. doesn't happen. And then they get that meat yeah. and they donate to homeless shelter. They donate right, to the right, military, right. literally hundreds of thousands of pounds. So if tomorrow all the hunters stop hunting, yeah. hundreds of thousands of people would go hungry. But that's, 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 that's probably slightly hyper, like a bit of a hyper, but hyperbole is if you imagine because mm. these farmers or these hunters could use the land that they're shooting on to grow vegetables and plants but and then they would those. have to decimate all the animal population there to grow those vegetables or else they get eaten no, not necessarily but the fact is this doesn't justify how, how, hunting how, how you supposed, how you supposed to grow like beans for example without decimating the animal population well, oh, well the thing okay i mean the, the reality, you have to you have to decimate not necessarily because we're already growing enough food i think 50 percent of the food that's grown in north america mm. is thrown and wasted away so instead of killing deer to feed them okay the that's, no, that's a good point. let's just give them all the, you know whole foods and, and and target and all these, these supermarkets that are throwing away the food why isn't that being given to the people well a lot of the time they'll make like jerky food and shit like that they'll send it over and over it's more preservable right, right i'm okay. sure there's vegan ways to preserve shit too uh, that you know yeah, course, because you're about course. to come at me with that Tinned beans <laughs> there you go there you go buddy boy there's always <laughs> solutions but the fact is that doesn't justify mm -hmm. killing an animal because they feed them to you know people from the military or to homeless people so when when during our human population let's just say when 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 was it officially you said before it was for necessity so we right, had to right, kill animals right, right, right. so on Monday, yeah, yeah, a thousand okay. years ago, it was yeah. bad, and on Tuesday, it was know. good. I don't no, know. When did it happen? It's a good question. I can't pinpoint that exact date, but I would, I would imagine it was probably sometime after the Second World War. We became a lot more affluent. You know what? You know what I think it was. I think foods. it's when housewives got together a little bit, and they had a little bit too much extra time. Well, that would be great then. And then, they, to be honest, I just think it's when people had a little bit too extra, too much extra time, right. and they started making problems that weren't there. I think it's when our society became more affluent, and it, we had more job opportunities and more ability to, to live in a more luxurious way, and mm -hmm. that meant that we could have more space to grow these things, more people's time to grow these things because we weren't sending people to wars all the time. So yeah. I don't really care when it happened. The point is it's it's it's, it's now. Now is a good time. And now it has is a been good time. for a while, but especially now, mm. there's no excuses now because you and I can get all we need from a, yeah, yeah. From a healthy plant-based diet. I would disagree with that, but yeah, okay. Okay, well, I would employ you. Just do some, like, we, you know, the thing is we can go have. back and forth. Ah, okay, no, like, great. I, I, have, I have done the research and I noticed that like, Every single vegan diet has some sort of supplementation going on. Well, they did a, they did a study on on vegans and, and non-vegans. Are people on a lot of supplements here? I don't does anyone take any of, supplements? They did, they did a study on vegans. Anyone and, been on a vegan diet for more than sorry for more no, than ten no. years? Ah, uh, not yet. No. Okay. Well, some people haven't. I don't know if anyone here has. Anyone and been on a vegan diet for more than ten or fifteen years? Scientifically, we'd actually live nine years longer. Yeah. Okay, but I'm just asking a straight question. Yeah. Anyone no, not know? Here. Not okay. Here. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact is, right? Um, okay. They did a study and they did a study on vegans and non-vegans and they did them like a test on the average population for nutritional deficiencies. Yeah. Uh, a vegan had three on average. I think it was B12. I think it was something else. But a non-vegan had seven, like vitamin C, yeah. vitamin E, vitamin A. There's mm. fibers. Ninety-six percent of Americans. I, lo are, are I like love fibers. your accent when you say vitamin. By the way, oh, you're, you're, I love that accent. How do you say? <laughs> Falling in love with that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> flirting with me, I like it, but <laughs> stop harming animals and maybe we can talk, but no. <laughs> so what about the science that disproves your science? That I know. Okay, I'd be so, interested so what, to So what do we say to that? What we always have to look at is where this funding comes from. And there's okay, always yeah. Be, it's called this, um, this idea of merchants of doubt, and, and all you have to do is try and reinforce people's mm. bad habits. So you can give out 10 studies that say, look, animal products are bad for your heart, and all it yeah. takes is one to say, well, actually, you know, dairy, for instance, reduces the amount of cholesterol. No, because okay? I've seen the studies for veganism, and, and the studies are amazing. Their right. the, the, the version is great. You get people who are like, 300 pounds, heart disease, this and that. They go on a vegan diet for two months and they're like, 
killing it, working right. out, doing this, doing that. Yeah. But my argument wouldn't be like, I don't really think it's a vegan diet. I just think it's because you got regimented. Okay. And I think you could have got that way being on any regimented diet because you get some people like, okay, the, the reason why I go for athletes is because athletes are regimented. So if you yeah. get someone on a hardly regimented diet and they're getting these results yeah. and then you, you're like, fuck it, vegan. We're going to go fucking hard on vegan. Yeah. And they go hard on vegan and then they get these results. Yeah. I'm going to be like, this guy's got this guy's got something. Right. But if I if I see a world cap athlete who switches to veganism, which I know, got off of it, and he goes like that was the worst thing ever, yeah. and again gets back to eating, you know, even meat once in once in a while, he his performance goes up. Right. And I know people who are living past a hundred, not one of them that I've looked up are are vegan. So there's, uh, if we talk about life expectancy, so there, there was an area off the coast of Japan yeah. called the Okinawa. Have you heard yeah, of the Okinawa? Yeah, 120. They're, they're all popping off so hard. They're, they're, oh like, my God! I love I love right. that you said that. Right, okay, good. Okay, <laughs> I know and, all about Okinawa. And they predominantly plant based. They have like one percent or like a couple of percent from animals. What what, what what's that? Tiny percentage. A bit. Ex that's what I'm saying. A very tiny percentage but it, from if animals. If you eliminate eliminate that to like one percent of pigs, they would live forever. Well, not forever, but they're not. They're they <laughs> they would be just better than everyone. Right. But the point is, you could you don't have to eat animal products to, to live way past a hundred. All right. But let's let's, let's say no. Right. But we have to go by we have to go by like what facts we have right now, right? Yeah. We have to go by like the information that we have in front of us. Yeah. So everyone who's popping off after a hundred. Yeah. In my research, I I could be wrong. Someone someone look up on your phone right now. I don't think any of them are vegan, bro. I would I would. Care to disagree, but I, I would say I would say they're like hard, like very leaning on vegan, very leaning on vegetarian. But like they're gonna eat that little piece of meat, they're gonna eat their eggs, they're gonna eat their shit, yeah, and they're gonna get their shit in them. So the point is, you can have a little bit of something. Like I could I could smoke like say two cigarettes a week, right? Yeah, and the cigarettes. Stop fucking smoking, me. man. It's bad for you. Yeah, it right. kills people. It kills people around you. I thought you cared about people. No, I, I, I care about animals, but, and humans are animals. But like, so let's say I, I smoke two cigarettes a week. Yes. Okay, those cigarettes aren't gonna kill me. No, and if I have two cigarettes a week and I and I live well and I eat a vegan diet, yeah, I probably. I, I, you know, I'm not going to get lung cancer, and I probably, if I live past 100, mm. right, you're not going to say, well, obviously smoking a couple of cigarettes a week is good for you because this guy lived past 100 and did so. So the point is you can consume a little bit of bad mm. stuff, and it may not have a, a great contradiction on your health, but it still doesn't mean mm. it's necessary or productive in, in achieving that life longevity. We, dude, I'm sorry to say, we yeah. are better than the but animals. I, it's we're fine. You we're said smarter that, than them. So intelligence does define worth of life? No. So you just said we're better than them because we're smarter than them, but you said that intelligence doesn't. We're better than them because we have built societies, we educate our youth, we we make things better for the next generation. But why does that? Why does that increase our worth of life? It's just, just because we're we're doing we're doing not, we are we are above we are above the animals. But why? I would say we are above the animals in that sense. Okay. Because we have just evolved smarter than them. So yeah, you know what? So if intelligence you, justify what? If you life. want to go intelligent, intel, I want to say intelligence is going to justify that because ants have life, everything has life like that too. Yeah. But like. We're the dominant one, so like, what do we split? Okay, so yeah. might does make right. A little bit. Okay, so because someone can physically impose themselves on another, they're justified to do so. No, that's not right. But that's what might makes right means. Might might's gonna make right for when you're talking about a species. Okay. Like we like look the reason why like we um, we used to have this argument for like uh, what's it called African American people. We used to think we were better than them. Okay. Right, right, right. We did the research a little bit. Well, we knew that they could contribute to society just as much as we do, if not more in some cases. Okay. So you're saying the reason we abolished slavery is because. African Americans can contribute to society. We, ab we abolished slavery because it was freaking horrible. Right, okay, good. Just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Right. And then, what's it called? The reason that we haven't abolished killing animals is people make a business off of it. We have our lives that are totally entangled I with mean, it. People make a business of, ex of exploitation and, and all yeah, different things. People of course. make a business of exploitation. Ex no, I, humans but it's, well, look, right? it is not a perfect system. But right. we, but we have to feed the country. But and we this is the we, cheapest way. Are, it, it's not. Right, it's right not, now, this is, this right is now. economically. Yeah. Um, economically, the best way. Dread, dread, the, the, the oh yeah, of, of course, it's shit. Right. Okay, so it's crap, right? It's, yeah, it's man. It's terribly economically because massive amounts of tax. So, so is abortion is crap, but maybe someone here got one. Right. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean they're a bad person. No, of course not. But I'm not saying. But abortion, but but abortion is killing a human. Right. But I'm not saying that people. Right. I'm saying that people, mm -hmm. good people, can do bad things, of course. Of right? course, yeah. And I'm not saying you're a bad person if you Right. If you partake in these things, we should still reevaluate. The life choices we make, and if mm. we are consistently three times a day making bad choices that we don't need to make, or one time a day, or one time a day, one time a day, two times a day, three times a day, mm. one time a week, once irrelevant, a week maybe doesn't You're matter. <laughs> if, if we're making that choice that is negatively impacting another mm. when we don't have to, and we simply buy something else, then we have to reflect and look at that and ask ourselves whether or not it's an ethical decision to do. What, what, what's, what's more important, taste or life? <laughs> what kind of life you live in, though? Well, of course, the, life. their yeah. life, life of an yeah. animal, life of an animal. What's more important, the taste of the taste enjoyment you get from chicken or the life of that chicken? If you're talking about like my perspective, from you, for you personally, I don't eat chicken, but I would say how that chicken tastes. Okay, so uh, okay, it's like I don't really care about that chicken. I don't know him. Like, so you have it, to have a connection with someone to, yeah. to care about them. Yeah. Like to be honest, like I don't necessarily care or discare about any of you people here, or care or discare about. I kind of care a little bit more about you now because I'm talking about. You. I appreciate that's very kind of you. T t talking to you a bit more, but like, 
if I had to hold my life out for anyone here, I, I don't think I would. If I maybe had a two second conversation with, yeah, I probably would. If I were to talk to every single one of the animals that I ate, I'd have a lot more pets. Okay, but the, so the point is that you feel you have to make a connection with these animals for them to have a worth of life. Yeah, that, that, that's why I want to kill so, my meat. Right, but then when you have a connection with them in that sense then, when you're looking down the barrel of the gun and you see them as a living being that you are actively yeah. partaking in the death of? Yeah, because I'm the one killing them, not someone else. And how will you justify that action? That I'm going to eat them. But you don't have to. But I want to. So again, it comes down to that one, right? You know so. what? But I would say that I have to eat meat because it's part of... It, you, know, you would say you don't have to eat meat. I would say yeah. you have to eat meat for, for, for a proper... So the argument that we're having is you don't think you have to eat meat to be healthy. I, I know you have to eat meat to be healthy. Uh, but, yeah, I think we're going to go around in circles, but... Yeah. No, 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 that's what, no, that's where we're going to disagree about. Of that's course, fine. Of that, that's so, totally fine so with say, that. Okay, so let's say... Let's, let's look at the... So let's look at morality then. So mm. you're, 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 you're basing the, your morality of eating animals based on the fact that you, need, you think you need something from them. I would say, yeah, it's going to better so, my life and I'm so, better the people around me. Okay, okay. So the difference between bettering your life and those around you, let's, let's talk about pure necessity. You're saying that you have to kill a deer to eat them because there's something in that deer that you need to sustain your life. And if you didn't kill that deer, you would die. Is that what you're saying? To a degree. Well, I wouldn't die. Obviously, I could eat, I could eat potato all my, all, all my life and be fine. But I wouldn't oh, okay. be. Okay, so it's but not a necessity. But I, no, but I wouldn't be of the optimum person that I, I wouldn't be uh, the best Joe I could be. Okay. If but, I didn't eat meat, but it's, it's based purely on, on on necessity here. So are you are you agreeing with me that it's not a necessity to kill animals to eat them? No, it's a necessity to. to but it. you just said that you it's, could it's, not. It's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna make it that you could be the best okay, person okay. that you can. So be. So there's a difference between I'll deal with optimum. There's a difference mm. between optimum and necessity, right? Mm. So let's just do purely of necessity. Oh it's, no. Right. So we can live with animals. Of course we could. Yeah, okay. Okay. Dude, you you could eat like grass. Your whole well, you probably yeah, you, die after a little while. <laughs> exactly. But like you could eat man, you could eat a lot of things and live for a really really long time. Yes. Okay? Right. But unless you are on, I, I, I sorry, I have to go back to the word optimum. Unless you're on a very perfect vegan diet, man, if you could do a perfect vegan diet, do it your whole goddamn life, and you you will live a long time. I, I'm not I'm not gonna put that down. I'm not gonna ah, stand so, here. Okay. Okay. So by so by your own logic, then mm -hmm. there's not only no necessity for us to eat animals, but you can do so. You can be vegan in a way that is optimum. Yeah, but I'm saying you'd be better ah, no, eating meat. But you can. You just said by yourself that you could be optimum. Yeah. By eating a, a vegan diet, it'd be right? way harder. But be way it, harder. Okay, let's let's even let's just let's say it is harder. Okay, let's yeah, say, it let's, is. let's say it's harder. Let's say mm. you've got to just do like a, a couple more yeah, minutes yeah. of thinking each day. Yeah, yeah. That still doesn't justify that then. So you're saying that convenience is more important than life now. Yeah, convenience is more important so than, you, than a lot of people's so, so other life. But so, so is your personal convenience? Not my more, personal convenience. Society convenience. Is your personal convenience more important than the life of an animal who you will kill? Yeah, I would say. And, and why would you say that your convenience is worth more than their life? I'm the apex predator. No, but we've already established that that, that, that just, might exactly. We've already established that might does not make right, have we not? Yeah, we have established that. I will because give you that. We, yeah, exactly. So by that logic that you just used, it, but it, it doesn't it, apply. What? What? what no, no matter what, one. Look, I'm. If in a perfect world, man, we wouldn't be doing this. We'd all be growing things. We'd all be doing that. Right. We don't live. We don't live in a perfect world, and we kind of have to make the best with what we could do. I believe that the, the idea. So of, of a, we sorry. should we should try to change people's lives. We yeah. we should try to change people the way they go. But I would say that. A lot of people aren't going to follow an optimum diet. A lot of people aren't going to do it. Do it too. So they're going to be eating like Oreos are vegan. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So like you could be sucking back Oreos all day, say I don't kill animals, but then you're going to be a fat fuck who's okay. not doing anything to society. Right. So, okay? so, so your argument is that you wouldn't go vegan because others won't live optimally, but others I, don't I, live I, optimally I, on a non-vegan I wouldn't go vegan either. because it, it's too complicated of a diet to get like, to get the performance that you need. I would say it's much too complicated of a diet, much too different foods, different varieties. Like all I have to do is eat meat and sweet potatoes and I feel awesome. And I would say that, okay, let's say for like the first week. Look up week, the snake diet, everyone. That's what I'm on. Let's say, <laughs> let's say for the first week, okay, you have to reevaluate what you're cooking, right? Mm -hmm. So you eat the same thing every single day yeah. and that gives you everything that you think you need. So all you yeah. have to find then is one vegan meal that gives you everything you need in your set. So all you have to do is a little bit of research. So mm -hmm. in the long run, it's not gonna be that inconvenient because all you have to do is find something else. And when you found it, you've got it. So it's not like an inconvenience for the rest of your 60 years of life or however long you live. I hope it's longer than that, mm -hmm. however long it is. It's not- I'm living to 120. Okay, on a vegan diet, right. But, nope. it, but it, well, we'll see about that then. I'll see you- uh, on, a fasting I'll race you. on a fasting focus diet. I'll race diet. you to the grave so whoever gets their first loser. You know what, <laughs> honestly, I will bet you right now I'm gonna live longer than you, buddy. I'm gonna come to your funeral. I don't like that. Come on, I'll bet I'll live longer. <laughs> you, you, do, you go vegan, I'll go that. You, either you come to my funeral, I'll come to yours. The point I was gonna yeah. make is that you can live optimally on a vegan diet by mm -hmm. your own admission. So even though it might yeah. be a little bit trickier at the beginning because mm -hmm. you've got to say, well, I'm going to replace this and I've got to find something else. The point is you can do that, right? Yeah. You can. And because you can, you have a moral obligation to no longer inflict that suffering because you don't have oh, to no, by your own admission. Yeah, but that also, if everyone, let's just went, let's just say everyone just switched from meat to soy or switched from meat to beans or switched from meat to whatever. Yeah.
So, okay. You know how many animals we'd have to decimate? Like, let's just say, like, we wanted to turn this the, the, this into a soy field, right? Or, well, yeah. actually, no, it's already a field right now. You know how many animals have to get killed for that corn to be there? Right, so so the situation is right like now... Like hedgehogs, that, squirrels, but are, are those do those count or just chickens and dogs? They count, right? Um, all, all animals. So, anyway, let, okay, let me deal with that. So, the situation we have now currently is that we have 56 billion land animals. It could be as high as 75 billion yeah. that we kill every single year, right? That's yeah. annually, so... As you, I didn't need to explain that for you, but we have to feed all those animals something, right? And yes. the thing we feed them is crops. Now, the number mm-hmm. one, like, food source for most livestock animals that we eat, particularly you guys here in North America, yeah, yeah. is soy, right? Over 85% of the soy that is produced yeah. in this planet is fed to livestock animals. Yes. So if we all went vegan, we could reduce the amount of soy we'd need to grow, which means we could reduce the amount of animals that we killed in the agriculture. So, what, But what would you do about the, the hike of vegetable, of the supply of vegetables we hike? Wouldn't, we wouldn't need to put a hike in place because we already grow no, but, vast amounts okay, of so food. If, if, if everyone tomorrow, let's just say, stopped eating meat and everyone just started eating veg- fruits and vegetables, right? Yeah. There would be a high demand for fruits and vegetables. Is, that, it, is that correct? There be, there, so there'll be, okay, so there's going to be an increased demand of plant foods. Now, yeah. the advantage of that is, is we already consume, mm. all, the animals already consume such huge amounts of plants mm. to begin with. So all the grain that's used to feed America alone could, could yeah. end um, famine because yeah. you could feed 800 million people with the oh, grain. We shouldn't be eating grain, grain too many carbs. Uh, well, okay. But the point is, <laughs> we already have enough, agree with we already have enough space yeah. and we already have all the food. Grass-fed beef. It's good stuff. So <laughs> the point I'm making to you is that we could reduce the amount mm-hmm. of crops that would need to be produced. Yes. Even though there'll need to be an increase in certain crops, overall, mm-hmm. the amount of crops we need to produce would still decline massively. See, so I, I would disagree. I would say, to be honest, my diet would probably save the world a lot better. In what sense? Well, we'd all be eating 66% less food. <laughs> okay. Like literally t- literally tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow, the pl- and all the industries would still be there. They would just slowly go down over the years and they'd have to reevaluate their plans. Okay. Less factory farming would be going on. If everyone just stuck to, you know, their intermittent fasting, a, a chunk, not even inter- well, this is more, um, this is more fasting focused diet. So you'd go one day or two days or three days without eating, right? Okay. okay. Look it up. The snake diet. It, it did wonders for me too. It was amazing. Um, so I was, uh, so the whole idea is like, if we just reduce our intake period, yep. okay. If we all just were to, you know, do 48 hour fast, 24 hour fast, three day fast. Okay. Yep. And believe me, skinny guys could do it too. Okay. So it's still good for you. Thanks okay. very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Slim. I don't want to say Slim. skinny. Guys never like to call it skinny, right? Someone called Slim. me skinny, I gained 10 pounds. I call it, yeah. I <laughs> call it a work in progress. There you go. There you go. That's, that's what I keep saying. So the idea is just like, instead of changing what we're eating, instead of telling people like, you know, because really you would have to change culture. You'd have to change belief. You'd have to change tradition. Because like a lot of the time, you know, you roast the pig, you do this. So yeah, yeah. what you're what you're asking from people is a lot. You have to agree. You would say like you're asking a lot out to people. I'm asking. Uh, what we're asking for people is very small. But what people do you're is t- they, you're telling they, them to they, stop they, eating a staple in their diet, dude. You're asking. You're, but, that's, but, that, but I'm asking a lot but too. But in principle, in principle, mm. that's a small principle because this is the matter of buying to something you, else over to the you, other. it's a small principle. It, it, in, in factuality, it's just going into a supermarket and picking up something else, going home and cooking that. So the act, so okay, there's a difference between the actual mm. act of it, which is very simple, yeah. and the psychology behind it is massive for people because it's yeah, such okay, a yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that argument 100. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you that argument 100. Okay, I agree. Let's all. The, the snake diet, the, mm. the intermittent, well, not intermittent fasting, but periods of fasting. Yeah. But you can still do that vegan. So, yeah. you, so we can we can do what you say, but still do it in a vegan way, which would be even better then for the environment. But I would say you wouldn't be able to get in your necessary, you wouldn't be able to get in your necessary nutrients or protein in a small eating window. Like, so, have you tried eating 3,000 calories of fruits and vegetables in an hour? No, but I wouldn't eat 3,000 calories of fruits and vegetables. 2,000. I would. I, you can easily get 2,000 calories worth of stuff with brown rice and potatoes. And oh no, no rice. Dense. No, no, no. Brown, gr- brown rice, whole grain brown rice is very good. Rice kills us. Carbs kill us. Meats no. and fruits and vegetables. That's all we should be eating. Fruits and vegetables are carbs. Well, they have carbs, but they're not. You know what I mean. They, you know what are, I mean when I say carbs. But, like, but I mean, but uh, you're talking they about have carbohydrates. Carbs. Yeah, I'm talking about complex carbs like brown. I'm saying no grains. grain, no anything like that. Meats and fruits and vegetables are the only things you should be eating. There's a new documentary coming out called The Game Changers, which looks specifically at um, mm. plant-based athletes. It's produced by James Cameron, the guy yeah. who made Avatar and Terminator and stuff. Um, and it's, it's directed by. I have to look, gotta by, look that up. Please do. And it's produced by another guy, and I can't remember. James Wilderman is mm. no, not James Wilderman. It's James James something. Basically, he trains um, Navy SEALs and stuff, and he's he's plant-based. So, I mean, by all means take the advice no because like because see and and that's where i always play double advocate with myself because i'm like could i do it 100 percent vegan could i go and just not eat any animals it's like yeah i I always do get down to that one thing like i fucking love meat i I love that shit okay so this is and this this is it right Mm -hmm. we've talked for ages and ages and ages and it's been very fulfilling i've really enjoyed it but it's boiled down to this one thing yeah you can you can do it but you don't want to because you believe no. that your life is superior to their I, life. I also or your think there are, but I also do think there are, I don't know the science per se. I'm going to say I have to believe this, just like, you know, like people believe in God, people in this. I would say I believe that it is healthier to be eating meat than not to be eating meat. 
but in small amounts, okay. not in large amounts, because you eat large amounts of fucking anything, you're gonna die. <laughs> Apart from spinach. Apart from spinach. <laughs> uh, actually, spinach has a lot of anti nutrients too. Yeah, right? Okay. Right, so, right, so we right, go right, down right, that right, route. Right, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Okay, but it's tough when you're both a little educated. <laughs> yeah, it makes it means that we can't get it anywhere. Makes it so much right? fucking harder. <laughs> it means it drags on for about nine minutes. And we don't achieve much at all. No, but, but this is good because like right. I, I I told my like you know I, at one point in my life I'm like I'm going vegan, fuck it right. Yeah. And then like all my vegan buddies who aren't on that optimum vegan diet, they lost ten pounds and they look old as shit. Like they just look old. I don't know what they're doing. I'm not. They could be screwing it up. It could be all ten of them together messing them up. But they just look. <laughs> Maybe old. your eyes need checking. No, but like they just look like shit. And yeah. like the girls look like shit. And like things are sagging on them. And they lost all this weight. And they just look thirty years older than they are. And they're all right, vegans. Right. And this is every single vegan that I've met who've been vegan for like five, six years. I'm like, dude, you look like you look good, but you look old. I, w I mean, that sounds completely bewildering to me. No, th like, th okay, and I, I get this I don't is know how to this is personal experience. This is not a this is not a fact. Don't go by that, right? It's not a fact. This is just okay. So we're dealing in subjective conjecture now. Is that, that, is, that, is, that, that is that is that? That's literally. That's literally. Can we use personal anecdotes? Can no, I, no let, we let's can't. go into hospitals and let's we see how many how many people. We can't are, do that. That's okay. why I'm gonna I'm gonna stop myself. So, we can't so do that. So you can it's use them, but like, I can't. Is that right? No, no, no I no, okay. we'll use a couple. Like no, like for obviously for what you've seen in your, but at the same in the same breath, I've yeah. seen vegans who have done it yeah. and they, and they look pretty good. I mean, I'd say let, let's see. Let's okay, okay, great. No, like no, like for no, I'm gonna say that like just, but I don't know. It's just like the overall. I don't know, the, the overall thing I, I see with the vegan diet, or most of the people I know, they're on something to supplement them not eating meat. And I would, I mean, that's interesting, I would yeah. disagree, but mm. I would also say that most non-vegans I know supplement in some way, especially when you get to the age of 50, yeah, yeah, and all of a sudden sure. yeah, you're yeah. buying all these supplements, you have to take iron supplements, see, see, I, I had you have to take vitamin mm -hmm. D, you have vitamin D, some yeah, yeah. different, you have to take B supplements, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to take fiber drink so i would say that people have a shit diet that's why right, okay. <laughs> shit diet predominantly animal animal based diet <laughs> hello jenny <laughs> uh yeah so okay so we, we, we chatted a lot about necessity and stuff and, and it come and then you talk about taste so let's yeah. say you can get a product that tastes exactly the same um, mm. as the animal based version but it's now a vegan version would you would you would you eat that especially when it's a complete oh yeah i try that once in a while right okay so I will drive to a &W right now. yeah we'll take you to a and w and get you a beyond meat burger if you want it's a, it has 20 grams of protein per burger a complete what, protein what, as well what time is it i eat again at six <laughs> uh, that is actually, regimented isn't it no I'm, I'm extremely regimented so let's say so let's say you can get you can get that product it tastes exactly the same it is nutritionally better but it has more protein it's rather cholesterol about the trans fat about the idea of mm. one promote hormones you have the antibiotics and all that stuff right so you can eat that product tastes yeah. the same gives you everything you need to sustain a healthy workout life would you then change with that in mind unfortunately no but why so you've, you've dealt with the taste you've dealt I, with the convenience I, I, I don't know what it is in meat i know there's other vitamins there's other nutrients that you're going to get that you, we I don't know the science 100 percent man but right, okay. i would just argue I, I go by longevity and i don't know any vegans over 100 yet, but, yet. Oh, so there could, no the, believe me you could be wrong and vegans could be living to 200 and i could just be sitting here like an <laughs> asshole talking okay <laughs> i will i will say that I, I could be a, i could be a crazy person in the room barking at a wall going i love meat i love meat like you know what i mean but it's kind of how you sound now <laughs> <laughs> but no no that no that's fine it's okay yeah, yeah. but the thing the thing that i'm going by i only go by results and longevity okay so every single person that i've researched who's over 100 years old or 120 years old right meat has been in their diet so th there's there's cultures around the world mm. we're looking at jains um hindus yeah um, okinawans people like that in different places a seventh day adventist yeah um and all all of them don't consume any animals uh, hindus now of course eat some animals but for the majority mm. those cultures predominantly won't consume any meat i mean yeah. hindus obviously dairy and stuff but jains and stuff live um a vegan lifestyle um okinawans as we discussed before was like 98 percent plant-based mm. vegan so th there are examples of this and the seventh day adventists and the okinawans are two of the key demographics that are yeah, used yeah. to demonstrate health and longevity yeah and what they both have in common is they eat either predominantly or entirely plant-based yeah, so the, 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 the science is out there and the and the information's out there mm. but what interesting with okinawa is what happened is the western diet became Became more ingrained in their civilization well and so did the more life carbs, expectancy more shit, yeah. and mortality rates came lower and lower mm. and lower so the, the science is out there but the problem is this the, the issue that we both have and we're mm -hmm. both guilty of this is is we're bombarded with so much science and so many different studies from yeah. different institutes with different biases and different prejudices that we get given so much and we have to wade through and decide what we think for ourselves and that's really well, difficult because I'll, I'll, I'll do one good please. I'll do one good for you I will change my diet for a week. Yeah. Give it a try again, because uh, I think week, maybe two weeks, three weeks. I think weeks. in fairness, give it at least well, well, twenty-one or twenty-eight days. Okay, yeah. So there you go. I'll go, I'll go a month. Okay, a month. A month like that, changing my diet, and I'll log everything. Okay. And uh, do you have like a page or anything I can? Uh, yeah, I do. I'll give you my email. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Bam. Um, okay. I'm I'm yeah. I'm one hundred percent willing for change. I'm one hundred percent willing for good, anything. Good, good, good. I just um, all of my research and everything that I've got, especially this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be contacting you guys. Oh, this is this is so much fun, by the way. I'm having a lot of fun. Good, me too. But um, what's it called? Uh, the 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 base the 
the decider for everything is going to be time, right? Okay. So at the time is going to be the decider of everything. Who's who's going to last longer? Like, what 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 car is better? Which one lasts longer? Which engine goes better? So right, right, longevity right. is always going to be my decider. Yeah. So if you told me I could live, they, let's just say, 80 years old, being on a vegan diet, and um, you know, I would be a god basically. I could just hover and things like that. But then I can't promise that. You know what I mean? Don't, don't promise that because I'll do it. But then but then this guy tells me over here that well, if you just eat meat a little bit, you could live to 120. I'm living to 120. Yeah, of course. The problem is if you just eat meat, you won't live to 120. Atkins, let's take Atkins. Uh-huh. Okay? The, the, it, no, no, Atkins is horrible. But I, I, I agree with you. Atkins, Atkins is, is the piece of shit diet. I agree with you. But that's low carb, <laughs> low carb, high protein. So that's that's what you follow. You say you don't eat. They're still carbs, eating bread. Uh, I, no, it's low carb. Atkins is low carb. So what are they eating no there? Carb. Animal products. Animal and some some vegetables, green vegetables. Maybe I'm not sure on that. But it's I would predominantly I, I would animal say products. like meat, he died of cardiovascular. I would say problems. just like meat with all the with all the vitamins and everything that you get from meat. It's just it's just like it's like a superfood almost. <laughs> like, a, super, I, a super killing food. A super killing food. Yeah, we killing of kill, you. Yeah, kills you. Kills me. It's, 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 it kills you super fast. Kills me super fast. Super fast <laughs> killing food. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> But you know what? I would say I would say if everyone just got on more one, everyone just get on a regiment, okay? Because yeah. everyone's just a bunch of fat, lazy pussies. So, so, sorry to be. So everyone just has. Apart from me, because I'm I'm skinny. Is that right? Like, so is, are we either too skinny or too fat? No, you just could be a pussy, but I don't know you that well, so, so I don't want to make any judges, right? Uh, I appreciate that. So um, I would just say that if people were to get a little bit more regimented with their diet, that would be a very good step forward. Yeah. And then yeah, throw in some plant-based food here and there. I I would say that we could all drop our meat intake by like 90 percent okay so but once in a while getting a little bit of meat in there i don't think it'll kill you okay. once like once in a while I like like in the same way that a cigarette once in a while won't kill you either but it's no. still not healthy for you right no like a cigarette no no a cigarette probably wouldn't wouldn't even have like if you're smoking like one cigarette every two months it's not gonna have any health r- ramifications right, just like having like a piece it's of like cheese walking in the city months. there we go right so or like eating pesticide ridden vegetables so, so the point being that just not gonna kill you exactly so the point <laughs> being that yeah you can reduce something to such the extent where it doesn't harm you yeah. but it still doesn't fundamentally make it good but for then you. you're gonna be eating all those pesticide doped up vegetables um, unless you're growing your food which ideally we'd love to that, that that's what so like the um you've seen the movie zedegeist by any chance i have seen that guy so yeah. basically zedegeist would be like an optimum kind of way we all have small little pockets we all grow our own food we all grow our own you right. know raise our own cattle do all the shit like well, that the whole point of that guys it talks about corruption and yeah. these industries are corrupt industries they exploit humans they exploit animals mm-hmm. they destroy our environment and they i don't think us. they exploit humans i would disagree they, with they, that they, uh, it, it, uh, please, like, have a look into slaughterhouses. Look mm. at what they do to humans. The beauty, right, of, of plant-based products is you get all the vitamins you would from mm. meat. You get the protein, the zinc, the iron. So you we're not talking morally, though. Like morally, like, like I'm not talking morally anymore. Like morally, oh, okay. we're going to disagree. But like the the, 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 the thing the, is, we're going to disagree in every point because from a, from a purely like health point of view, we're going to disagree mm. on that as well. But, but what we do agree with morally, yeah, this is what we have in agreement mm. that this is unnecessary. Oh yeah, co- co- completely. So so morally, we're aligned in the sense that this doesn't need to happen. Yeah. It okay. Doesn't. So if it doesn't need to happen, then we shouldn't be able to justify it. Like in this same way that we wouldn't go and kill a dog, you, you maybe disagree with me like you did earlier, but we wouldn't justify someone harming a dog or harming a cat, mm-hmm. right? Because we say, well, it's unnecessary, you shouldn't inflict that stuff. If, ha- if it happens this in front of you, obviously same. not, but like when they do like the dog eating festival in China, like I'll praise to them, man, they want to do that. Like I said, again, it's the idea of want, right? No, so- it's, 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 look, cult people, are allowed to ha- are allowed to want things. We are allowed to want things. And for you to come at me and say I'm not allowed to want this, so you're kind of stepping on me. If a man wants to impose his dominance on a woman, is that fine? That's not okay because now she's putting down the woman. Okay, but you're putting down the, I, the I, I, I get I get, I, I get I get what your point is. I understand what your point is. So how would you refute it? But like we but we've been we've been using animals for our betterment forever. We've been using each other. We you know we've been using humans. We've we been using we've for, been using we cows to like pull like to pull uh, what's it called um. You know, to, to make fields so yeah, we could grow vegetables. Yeah, should we not? Should we do that? Should I just strap something onto my back and go? Well, it, it should we not test it. things on animals and just test them on small children? No, we shouldn't. No, we don't need to do either. We, we, no, but how, how do we, how do we test advanced. new things? How do we we've, test new? We've advanced to such a stage now where we're very technologically inclined. So we don't, earlier, we, we don't test on rats. We don't test on anything. We don't why, do anything we, like that. We, why, we, no, we, we don't need to harm animals to better ourselves. We do not need to, not anymore. Not anymore. What you're doing is you're stuck in the past. You're saying, mm-hmm. well, we used to these things, therefore it translates to modern day morality. But I would it say doesn't. we still need to. But it's going to be hard to change. But we still need to. Right. But we don't need to. That's the point. We can change now. So let, let's. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's let's address what we can. So how? Okay. We've already addressed that we don't need to eat animals. Right. We've already addressed that. So that's number one address. I know. I, I I disagree with that. We, no, no, no. We we've said this. We, you said still, it's not necessity. We've been through this. If you're, you yourself if, if, said if you're, it's if not you're necessity. Gonna, okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give you that. But okay, it so has to be an that. optimum vegan diet. Okay, that's we, why. Yes, it has to be optimum but, or else but, you're going to fucking have healthy But you've said yourself that it's not a necessity and you can live an optimum vegan diet. So that's the end of that's the, Okay. That's that. Okay. By your own admission. So we don't have to We don't have to use them for food. We don't have to use them. With an optimum. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I really I really want to be firm on this. You're being very clear. No, no. I'm being very, very clear. Yes, you are. Unless your fucking vegan diet is like better than fucking Jesus, you will have 
horrible health ramifications. Okay, but I, I, I disagree with you, but I'm just saying, even for the yeah, sake of argument. That's my point. Even for the sake of argument, let's say you're 100% correct. By mm. your own admission, you can be an optimum vegan. You can live an, an optimum vegan diet, right? Maybe 1% of the population. Okay. Okay, maybe. I, this is, okay, I'm not agreeing with you. I'll give you that. Okay, okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We, okay. Right, so we've established yeah. it's not necessity. Okay. We've established you can live an optimum vegan diet. Mm. So therefore, we don't need to use animals for food. Okay, that's the biggest source of animal exploitation done with that, okay? We don't need to use them for clothing. The reason we do mm. is because it's a byproduct yeah, yeah. of the fact that we use them for food. So that's done. We don't need to use them for entertainment because we don't need to go to circuses and clap our hands to have fun, right? You or, don't. Some other people want to do that. Let's just say you are 100% right about everything, okay? So I, I, I'm not. No, no, let, no. You okay. let, let, let's just like fuck it. I'll give okay, it to you, okay? Let's, let's go. You are. You, I'm. You are 100% right on this, okay? Yeah, okay. What do you say for the people who are healthy, who are good, who just like, hey man, I totally get everything that you're doing, but like, I'm fine with people killing animals, and I just want to eat meat. I would say the same thing I would say to someone who says, well, I'm fine with being racist or I'm fine with being sexist. Just because I don't believe racism is real. I believe there are bad people and good people. Okay, okay. Well, uh, we're getting a little bit off tangent there. No, sorry. I just like to be very, like, if, if you're going to throw the word, is, if you're going to throw any isms at me, you have to okay. be very careful with that. Okay. Um, like veganism. I don't believe in any ism because isms are fucking bullshit. What about um... capitalism? Yeah, another bullshit fucking thing too. Socialism, okay. another bullshit fucking thing too. Come on, throw another fucking ism at me. I don't, I don't know if I have any more. Exactly. Ism. I feel slightly worried by the aggression. What about communism? Sorry. Is that bad? Oh yeah, Co oh it's communism, fascist. awesome, bro. <laughs> no, I'm only, communism I'm only... is awesome. Yeah, I'm let only, me fucking. That really joking. worked out. Um, no, 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 the systems no, any, are any, any ism, anything that you follow. 100 percent it's like this is the word um, i would say like you, you need to have room for debate okay. right there oh, needs to be room for argument let's let's, let's say this back because we've got way mm. off tangent there um, it's fun though <laughs> it's, it's incredibly fun i could do it for hours but, um, i'm not sure anyone else can the, the way i view it just because you say well no i'm fine with this doesn't make it acceptable yeah, the same yeah. way that someone says oh i'm fine with, with discrimination against someone because mm. you know of the color of their skin yeah, right? yeah okay just because someone says well i'm fine with that that doesn't make it acceptable right that oh no make agree. It, okay but, but people so, have the uh, right to do what they kind of kind of want to a degree so right does someone have the right to harm you no, but I have the right to defend myself. So, uh, so they, th do they have a right to harm you? Does someone have a right to pull a gun out and shoot you? No, dear God, no. Of course not. It's illegal. Well, so, well, okay, so, okay. So legality equals morality. Oh, dear God, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a no. contradiction in place there. So why is it not okay for someone to harm you? It's not okay for someone. To, obviously, we know why it's not okay for someone to harm me. You're, 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 I'm a, you're I, impeding. I you're, you're impeding my rights. I know what the rights. The right. What rights? The right to be alive. I know. Well, what about my right to harm you? Exactly. You're impeding these animals' rights. I get. Uh, right, I get their right to life. I get the point. I get the point that you're making. Yeah. It's just, I would just say that we're, we're smarter, we're better than the animals. So we okay, are. Okay, based purely on intelligence. Not just on intelligence, off of like, what, like, look. Do we, do we you, could get a you could get a thousand monkeys in a room with a typewriter thing. They're never going to come up with equals MC square. You can get a thousand. I, I couldn't come up with equals MC no, square. No, but humans you know? did, and we're better. One human did. So you can't compare well, your intelligence. One, no, no, one human right. who had thousands of humans, of, okay. thousands of years of information, uh, of information backing information. them up through other Absolutely. humans who already got to this thing. But the so thing is, you, be careful you, with that you one. point at mobile phones and say, oh, mobile phones are, 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 are basically mean our that we're allowed to be pinnacle of technology. But not pinnacle of us. What have you and I done for mobile phones? Me personally? Yeah. Nothing! So you can't use mobile phones as a reason for your worth of life to be higher because you have nothing to do with the involvement of creating I would say my phone. I would say my particular worth is higher than a chicken. So, okay. But I, I would just say and that, And I yeah. would say to you, like, and I say this to people a lot, like, I personally believe that their right to life is, 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 is the same as ours, but mm. you don't have to believe that to be vegan all you have to do is, is, is evaluate their worth of life has been higher than the value we get from it eating them mm -hmm. so basically what I'm saying is if we value their life to be higher than our taste buds that's all it takes to be vegan you don't have to say the mm. life of the chicken has the same value as your life I'd love for you to say that you don't have to no no it doesn't okay that's okay you, no. but all you have to say is that that's their wrong. life is higher than the taste pleasure that you get for 50 minutes of eating but but the only the only pleasure that I get out of a chicken besides you know looking at them when I pass by the farm and they make me laugh a little bit and eggs of course I like eggs um, is Food. But why is their worth of life assigned purely on what you or what they offer to you? Like you offer nothing to me, but I still think that your value of life is it should be is high enough well, for you to live. I, I, I would disagree with that. I think now because because you're getting pressed on your thoughts, you're trying to handle some more validity in them. It's making you express them better. So I would say I do have some value to you. Oh, 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 I mean, you do in the conversation, but that guy that drove up there, I don't know who he is, but I want him to live his life, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't know all the chickens. I don't know all the half million chickens. Would you say I them. have more value to your life or the chicken on that woman's shirt? I'd say, I, I mean, the chicken is not real, but I would- You know what I mean. If there was you and a chicken here, what I would do And is, we both is, got a gun to our head. Who are you picking to die? That's never going to happen. That's a hypothetical situation. No, but you know what I mean? It's like, it, that really shows value. Like if there was, okay. If there was like to be a honest, it might be the chicken. I don't know. No, I like you, buddy. I, I, like, I, I, like I you, wish man. I could say the same. If um, no, I'm if, if, if no, I know, no, 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 I'm a good person to joke with. Okay. If I had like a bear and a dolphin, and you're just like, I'm gonna kill both of these, I'd be like, 
uh, and I, I'd be a little wow. bit because I'd be like, holy shit! I'm like, I don't want to kill a bear or a dolphin. Yeah, but if it was just like, do you want to kill this little girl or a bear? I'm like, bear. Okay. I'm like, it would like, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, and I'm pretty sure everyone here would would kind of agree with that. Yeah, but the the, the fact of the matter is that, that that's, that's no, but no, but that but that tells us how much we value these people. It, because if I if I had this girl and him with a gun at, I would be have so much anxiety right now, picking who's gonna but die. That, that, that's irrelevant because even if you I did, think it is relevant. It, it's not because in a situation where you say a, a girl so and a chicken, pick? I, I I won't be able to tell you. But let's say in a situation, I, I mean, I, I don't know anything about who the human. Who would you pick? It depends who the human is. If the human's a serial killer, I'll obviously pick the if animal. If it's this girl, this yeah. particular girl right here, or a chicken that I'm going to get from in. Right. Under there, and we have a gun to both of their heads, yeah. and you are the decider. Wow. Who do you value more? Well, that's a great question. It's a horrible. It's look. It's, it's a, a horrible. horrible it's a horrible it's thing a horrible to conundrum. ask. It's a horrible thing, but this puts you. But, but no, it, but, no, but it these, doesn't these, justify anything. So no, no. Let's say for the sake but of I'm argument. Asking, but you're not answering the let, question. Ah, let's say for the sake of argument, I do choose the chicken. But you know what? Maybe you, I would. Maybe, sorry, dude. Maybe I would because you're out, you're out. I value. I value now the chicken to be shot. Let's say I do. Okay, because I value human oh, life because I I empathize with her more because she is human like I am. Let's say for the sake of argument, that still doesn't justify this. No, agreed. So it's a ridiculous situation okay. because if you said to me oh well, but you, you know, deemed her more valuable than the chicken it, why I, I don't know based on the I'm fact. telling you if it was between a, a bear like a bear and a thing I couldn't decide I uh, wouldn't even know what to do right. if it was between my mom and my dad I wouldn't know what but to that, do but that, it, that's irrelevant because that doesn't justify any of this so how can we use that as an argument to justify using animals because a vegan in a situation between it was the life of a human because chicken I'm, I, might choose the chicken no, to be it, it doesn't justify it I'm just saying right. I'm above the animal right oh okay and but, then and then yeah like dude people like you're, it's, not, so you're, it's not a perfect world, but shitty things have to happen for our world to exist. Right. Abortion ah. needs to happen for our, for our world to keep going. Okay? okay. It's a shitty thing, but it happens. Right. Okay. 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 But what we what we should try and do is, is avoid it. Is avoid it. Yeah. And we can avoid this. We've established that. So I, I don't think this is the way, though. Oh, but that's irrelevant. Yeah. That's irrelevant to the conversation. Whether okay. You, okay. Okay. Whether yeah. you know you agree, or this is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The point of the matter is, we can, you, as you by yourself said, yeah. the world's imperfect. Yeah. And it always will be. Always. But what we should do is avoid the things we can avoid, and we can avoid this. Yes. So let's avoid it. But but some but, but some people but, you're tell, you're not telling people what to do, man. Like I'm not telling anyone to do. Like I like I, I, I don't want I don't want people to change. I don't want. It would be nice if people change their life. Right. But you're but you're telling people they're murderers, and you're telling people no, they're. I have not used that word once, right? I've not. No, said but like, you know what I mean? Like you're you're telling people they're doing something wrong. Right. I, I I believe that people are doing something immoral, but I don't necessarily think that's a conscious okay. decision. Okay. okay. If you're doing something immoral, okay. Be, being immoral is probably the worst thing you could do. Oh yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you agree between, to that? Uh, so you're calling me the worst thing possible. No, no, no. There's a difference by being by being involved in the system, and you're calling anyone a meat eater immoral. Because they're, because they're not in the system. I believe they engage in immoral behaviors, but I don't think that makes them a bad person by so, default. So, As you say, good and bad is a spectrum. Good people can so do bad you, things. So, so people who engage in immoral behaviors can still be moral. They can still be good people. They can they can be can good still people. be good people. Right, exactly. Are you sh are you sure? Yeah, because yeah, man, I used to even if, even if they're even if they're doing it um if it's conscious. conscious. I know if they're con right. like okay. I, I consciously want to kill an animal and skin it and eat it. Am right. I an immoral person? I believe that that is an immoral behavior, okay. which I believe pushes and, you down but, on the but spectrum. But am I an immoral person? Is Joseph Cariati an immoral person? That is a good question. Yeah, am I immoral now? Because, I, I, because I'm just doing something that I've... But so the now problem I have is we're creating a binary system where mm -hmm. you're either moral or immoral. I don't believe that anyone is either good or bad. I believe it's a spectrum. I believe yes. we all do good things yes. and we all do bad things. And what we, we should agree do on is that. most... Right. And what we should do as best as possible is mm -hmm. limit the bad things that we do. Now, we will always engage in behaviors that are not good. And what we should do is try and limit those. So I don't believe that it makes you a whole immoral person. You, Joseph surname is a bad person no mm. I believe that on the spectrum you are leaning towards the more moral side because of that action but I don't believe that makes you entirely wrong I believe that you're probably a, a, an okay person deep I, down I would somewhere. say I'm pretty good I, yeah. I would say I'm okay maybe I'm, I'm not too I, I, I try to I know to I try to kill like one person a year kind of thing like you know just very simple yeah okay because you want to right <laughs> because I want to and right? if I wanted to would that be fine if I wanted to kill you would I be allowed and I have to? the right to defend myself okay but let's say you know, let's say I just get a gun and I shoot you that's that's fine because I want and to you're do going that. to jail bud no but that's fine because I, but I, I might no but I'm saying there's going to be repercussions but, it, but why is there repercussions because if, it, if want is justifies something like my want to do something then there should be no judicial system or any repercussions because wants fine right want is what drives well okay so the ar the argument that we're making is I, I think I think where, where we disagree is you hold animals to the same level as humans correct I, 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 but I said to you, it's irrelevant. I said, you don't have to do that. No, no, but do, okay. The reason why I don't agree with, uh, I agree with killing animals and killing this. And like, you know, if you step on ants, if you do any of that, it's because I don't he hold these species of life yeah. to the same level as, as humans. But you don't have to. We've already established that. All you have to do is, is no, I, regard no, I, their I, life as higher than the pleasure we get from consuming them. No, but, them. but you, okay. We might both think, you might think that a chicken is up here and that a human might be just here. I'm not saying that's what, that's sure, what sure, you think. Sure, let's go but you know what I mean? Because, you know, you picked... You decided to pick the chicken over the girl just because you know the girl a bit more, right? So you're gonna, right, you're, right. you're gonna, you're gonna lean. That's what you said there. So my, my my thing is like
it like in that hypothetical situation because you need to play these hypothetical situations to see where you actually stand absolutely so if you truly believe that that girl is more valuable than that chicken then I think killing and eating animals is kind of okay no, because, by that standpoint. No, because what you've done is you've taken a situation where it's a, a an extreme situation that's never going to occur, where it's between her life and their life. That mm. situation won't exist. You, know, you can't use that extreme situation to justify something where the choice that you have isn't between her life and a chicken's life, it's between you the chicken's chicken life and their life. You push out of the way of the car, you push her out of the way of the car. Come on, dude. Like that, that, yeah, I, 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 I'd say, I'd you push save the dog both. out of the way right. he's holding or you and, push and, the dog holder. I, so I'm going, to try and, I'm going to try and save them both. So in a situation where I don't have to harm either, I'm obviously going to take the choice to harm Neva, right? And that's the situation you have every day. You can either harm a human, harm an animal, or not harm any. And this, and, and what we should morally choose is not to harm any, right? No. So in a situation where we have a choice between harming a human, harming a non-human animal, or harming Neva, the right decision is to harm the animal rather than Neva. That wasn't the question at all. That's the, that's the question I'm asking you no, now. No, the you have free choices the, no, the, every single day. The question is that the, these are the okay. You have to, the, the, there's going to be hierarchies in society. Okay. So humans are at the top of the hierarchy. We we are number we are number one. The right. reason that we could talk about this right now is because we are number one. Okay, but that's, we can all agree we are number one in the food I, system. Okay, we are we are most dominant. We are the most dominant species. Yeah, we're the best. But dominance, we are the most dominant species. Dominance doesn't then mean that the we. Best. Dominance doesn't mean that we can impose our wrath. Okay, the most. Let's look at our society. Yeah. Let's look at our microcosm of human society. Those who have power. This isn't this mm. isn't how it translates. This is how it should translate. Okay. Those who have power are supposed to have the responsibility to look after those who are weaker or more vulnerable than them. We look at people. This is, it doesn't work like this, but we think people who are in positions of power have mm -hmm. a responsibility to look after us. Yeah, not people are entitled to shit. Right. So the situation we have is because we are the most dominant species, that doesn't give us the right to impose our wrath onto others. The opposite should be true. We therefore have the responsibility to look after those who are more vulnerable than us. That includes people who are disabled. Mm -hmm. That includes people who are children. That yeah. includes people who elderly. are elderly. But it also includes the non-human animals who are more vulnerable than us. Well, we, are the ones, we are the ones with the privilege to have the power mm -hmm. to impose, either impose our wrath or to provide nurture and safety for others. We should provide the safety, so, not the wrath. Okay, so I would say... What about instead of putting all your time into this or your energy into this, if you actually care, like I don't, I don't personally care about this too much, but if you truly yeah. were to care about the betterment of humans, right? Well, why don't you just like, why don't you guys deal with the billions of people who are in poverty? Let's just say like you have like, you know, like your little task of list here and you have right. like all the money in the world. Okay. Would you end exploitation of humans before you end exploitation of animals? So the beautiful thing is that they're all intertwined in so many different ways and we can, we, so we'll so be on the priority list. Right. So I'm going to, I'm going to get this too. Mm. So if we, so I want a vegan world. Okay. So that ends the exploitation of animals. So if we end the exploitation of non-human animals, what we do is we, then we stop contributing to the number one cause of climate change because animal agriculture is the number one cause of climate change in many capacities and the most fundamental capacities. So if we end this system, what we do is we end, or we don't end it, what we can do is we can save the world from a lot of the worst ecological disasters we're going to, we're going to face. And the, the, the communities hardest hit by those ecological disasters are statistically the most impoverished in the world. People live in third world countries where okay. the tsunamis on those, on those, those, those um, tectonic plate lines, okay? So that will help people, okay? We can also, by eliminating this, we free up land and we free up crops that can be used to feed people who are living in a state of famine. Like I said before, all the grain that's used to feed Americans alone, or, uh, Amer livestock animals in America alone could feed 800 million humans mm. and theoretically wipe out the need for, well, not the need, but wipe out human famine. So we could, if we had a vegan world, therefore also eliminate starvation in humans, okay? That's our biggest number one problem. Animal agriculture also uses a third of all fresh water, so mm -hmm. we can eliminate um, yeah. dehydration and thirst in these people. So we can feed them and we can also give them water. Okay, brilliant. We can then take all the tax subsidies that we put into these industries and put them into fruit and vegetable farming, which then gives jobs to these people in these, who are in these industries. And where we can argue whether or not their job is necessity so, and whether they're So your thing, is, your thing is going to be like, fix this and then the byproduct will kind of fix itself. And not everything, but all these other problems, there will be a lot of problems okay. that are fixed along See, the way. See, that, uh, that kind of thinking though is... Um, I would say it's like ideological thinking almost. It's like, if we just fix this one horrible problem, then everything else will get better. No, we need to tackle the problems as they but come. But it's a mindset, okay? So let's say- So, you're, so you, want, you want to change people's we minds. We have to change people's minds. And, 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 and as we, we've you know, said before, um, or as I said, oppression is interconnected. And the root of all oppression, whether that is um, a discrimination, person of color, mm. discrimination to uh, someone based on gender comes from the idea that some life has higher value than others. You believe that your life has higher value than others, but that's the root of all oppression. But it we, does. We, white people enslaved African Americans because they believed that their life had higher value. That was wrong. We both agree on that. Tips. Currently, <laughs> right? But we say that, like obviously. But back then, it was normal. And back then, people having conversations just like we are but now. There has never people okay, defending okay, that. Okay, but if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go back then, there has never been a point in human existence where, yeah, sure, we were living with the animals, but we 
fucking ate them and yes. put them to work. Absolutely. All the time. They're, we have never changed that. And now you're telling us to take something that has literally got us to exactly where we are and say, fuck it, eat fucking veggies. I'm telling us to evolve and change because we have a duty as a society to evolve and change and learn from our previous mistakes. I, 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 I don't, I don't we think... We look to what we were doing to people of color. I don't, I don't think it's healthy for people to do that. Like not just, it's not, not healthy not, to change. Not, not, not just, no, not just physically, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be healthy for people to to just jump onto the, the vegan bandwagon when they don't have all the information on it. Then scrutinize it, it, cause, it cause look at all the information. Because it's very because it's very new. Okay, well look at all the information. I mean, veganism as a Western philosophy is new, but the, the, the prospect of not using animals for food goes back many, many years. Buddhists, Hindus, Jains, loads of people, Okinawans, there's people all over the world that have been doing this for a long time. Yes, the vegan philosophy that we're talking about now, yeah, relatively new it's to really, Canada. Yeah, no, but that, that's what I mean. So like, any of these isms, okay, because it is veganism, okay? I is mean, it is it like, is it like meat eating is carnism, right? So there's different isms that apply. To no, it's it, 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 it's not car it's called life. It's called no. There, there's there, no, 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 no. It's, no, it's, it's a way of living, and it's called carnism in the same way that veganism. Car carnism? It's, yeah, it's like a. I'll, I'll, I've we'll never heard of never. Okay, oh, we'll, please we'll please send me the vid. So I've never heard of carnism, but I have heard of veganism. And the only the only thing that I know about any single solitary ism that has come to play is that they're shit and that they're garbage and that if you if you establish yourself in saying all meat is bad all the time okay right. then you're forcing yourself not to grow because w there are some there sorry not there are some there are health benefits of eating meat there are good health benefits of eating meat which are completely outweighed by the negatives no yeah. i was i would say there I, I i would i would disagree to that because there's amazing b vitamins in there there's iron there's creatine there's solid protein in there which we get and like yeah things. sure you can get it from all that stuff right. but why can't you just get it from me because as a victim involved a victim so? is being what if i don't care about the victim what if i don't give a fuck about the victim well what if someone doesn't care about you but I'm a human, dude. Yeah, so you've, can, assigned, you've human, assigned value of life to yourself. Yeah, because I'm a human. Right, but these animals I'm have more, a value of life. I, they I am more valuable than any human on this based planet. On your subjective Except maybe opinion. Google the whale based here in the Based on your subjective opinion, because many humans don't view humans as being equal. And there's many humans out there that view of human life as being beneath them. Are they then justified to feel that way because that's their own personal feeling? Human life could be beneath them, but guess what? We're the, higher, we're the biggest one. Try killing one of us. Well, many, many people do all the time, but yeah, the, the point it's is horrible. that you, you personally as an individual have said to yourself that this, the worth of this, these animals is beneath me, yeah. so therefore you're allowed to do those things to these animals. Now someone Basically, else yeah. might come around and say, well the worth of that woman's life is beneath me, therefore I'm going to impose my dominance on that woman. No, but, but, but that logic. woman has laws and rights that are attached but to her. But we've said that legality doesn't equal morality. No, legality doesn't equal morality. So, that, that, so then laws don't apply to this situation because what's but legal guess what? is not what's moral. You could, you could go ahead and, go, guess what, you could go ahead and do that. It is wrong, but you're going to be facing repercussions. It's, if I get a chicken and kill it, it is wrong, but I won't face any repercussions. Because of culture. But yeah. Culture, but culture should And culture, do, do, culture dominates. Yes, but it changes. Culture yeah, changes. Of course. So but not like to, that. So it used to be if, if someone went and freed mm. uh, an African American from their shackles yeah. in a cotton field, they would be arrested for that action. Yes. But that was a moral action to do. You yes, and I it was. both agree. So just because something's legal or illegal it has nothing to do with, with weighing up where or not. But those it's were moral. people. These are animals, dude. Ah. So that's the differentiation yeah. there. But the point I'm making to you is that these we were, are all animals. These were intelligent people who could speak to us. So worth of life is based on whether or not they can communicate with you now to, to a big one yeah so if you don't understand the language of say someone in china does that mean their worth of life is lower oh yeah well yes yeah, so that's exactly what it means but you're saying because they can't communicate with no, you no because they can't communicate with you in any because like, they can't do, say do, please do don't kill me therefore that's not it, a look every little thing you're gonna be able to take that little snippet and say like yeah it's because of this dude when it comes down to it we are we are above animals like you could say whatever you want over overall we are we are better more than animals we are more dominant than animals okay so let's just say this if rhinos took over the fucking world, okay? If rhino, no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one of these stupid freaking things too. Okay. So if, oh, better, fuck it, better yet, if yeah. aliens came down right now, right? Okay. okay. I love aliens this. fucking came down right now. Yeah. Do you think, okay? Do you think we'd be, oh, what's it called? Uh, we'd have any racism? Do you think we'd have anything, any problems with any countries or anything like that? We'd all, all just kind of band together, right? Uh, all the, all the humans would probably band together, right? I mean, who knows? Do you think we'd be, do you think we'd be like, it hey, it's me and the, you think we'd include the rhinos in the fight against the aliens? You think we'd include the freaking things against, no, because they're fucking useless to us. Well, we we'd get all the humans and we'd give them because the humans are useful. We wouldn't be like, hey, rhinos, how are we going to stop this alien invasion? So, so, so now an animal's because worth of life is based on whether or not they can help us in an alien invasion? No, an animal fucking worth is how good they could help humans oh, oh so how good that's they how good they are that, yeah so like okay. if an animal could better a human's life that's how an animal is going to be good let's say because they're an, bettering let, us let's say if an animal comes down today like let's use the animals so an, an animal uh, aliens come down today yeah and they say i want to eat you would yeah. they be entitled to do so? You're damn right. Oh, okay. And you, because they could fucking impose it on us. Uh, so, so okay. So, so if someone can impose rule, so fascism, it'd so still be horrible. Dictatorship, but they could do it. fine. Dictatorship. Yeah. So, we're you number believe, one, dude. Do you believe in dictatorship? 
No, don't believe in dictatorship. But you just yourself said the because they can. So ah, so if you can't just because they can do something doesn't mean I believe in it. Like Uh. like just because something can happen. So you so you're against it, but you uh, so you're against it, but you're also for for it. I'm against it, but people should be allowed to do what they want to do, man. Even when it comes to the suffering of others. Even when it comes to the suffering of animals, yeah. Which you are. Yeah. So you're an animal. (laughs) Sure, I'm an animal. Which you which you are, right? By much of you speaking, no, 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 I'm not an animal anymore. I'm a human. We evolved. No. Stop, we look. No, we, no, no, we, no, no, we are no. animalistic. What, I get what, what's, it. But we are above the animals. What, what's a dog? A dog is a dog. Who is a canine? It used to be a wolf. Who is a animal? Yeah. So, so uh, right. So, dogs an animal, pigs an animal, whales an animal, human yeah. is. And is, we're still better than them. But we're an animal. We're an apex animal. We're the number one animal. <laughs> right. We're, we're, the, we're the best fucking animal who has the biggest fucking well, not the biggest brain per se, but like who has the best fucking brain, who has the best everything, who is. Push tech, we we have been able to transcend our bodies. Animals can't transcend their bodies. How have we, we transcended our bodies? Are you, are I'm, you, gonna te- I'm gonna send a text to China right now and then show you how I just transcended my body. Oh, okay. So you mean from the day we of are? Stages. No, no. I'm saying we are able Not to. No, physical. No, no. We are able to transcend our own consciousness. We are able to. Like I'm able to step out of this situation and be like, I just sound like this crazy meat eating guy who's just trying to bash on all these vegans, right. okay? And I could see how how I'm being a little bit rash. Yeah. But but what but what you're but what you're saying to people is that they're daily committing immoral acts and they're and, and they're and they're killing i wouldn't say killing man i say you're you're farming but it, the, the, like we've been farming for so years how do, and, how do we get so when do we stop being how do we how do we get meat we have to kill animals so we are killing yeah we have so, to kill so, animals so, we, so just to clarify you said before we don't think we are killing but yeah take that little sound bite and say that i was killing i don't give a shit man I, okay what i'm kind of gonna end this as because i do because i do have to go uh, but, it's been long yeah no, it's, it's okay you know this this has been some no, more. I, I, no um i'll start it off by this we disagree, man. You've been nothing but respectful. Thank so, you. Sorry if I've been a, a little bit heated. I I'm, love I'm, it. Don't I'm you just, worry. I'm just about very it. passionate with that. I'm all, so I I'm do want to thank you for that. You. Whether we agree, whether we disagree, it's it's nice that we could be in a country that doesn't have all these isms attached to them. That we could actually talk yeah, yeah, about this a little bit. And you know, yeah. if someone's not like beating me down, the point that I will end it is that I think a lot of people are going to agree with me, even if they won't say it, that we are above the animals. Okay. That, that that is just what I'm saying. We could, we we're we're, we're literally going to disagree on this point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We actually are. Yeah. Yeah. But I would I would say a lot of people out there, a lot of people who are going to listen to this, they know that we are above the animals. They feel bad. They really do. And you know what? We should feel bad for the animals because yeah. we're the number one. Just like you should feel bad for your kids. Just like you should feel bad for the elderly. We are number one. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. You do have to feel bad a little bit. Okay. That's why I feel so bad about what I'm doing that I'm not connected to my food that I want to get as natural as I can. That's why I want to hunt. That's why I want to go down that road. Yeah. So I think if people maybe got a little bit more connected with their food all together, yeah. okay, from the growing to the gardening to the hunting to everything like that, then we'd actually reduce a lot of consumption. Absolutely. Okay? And then we would be going because I would say even if, even in your best case scenario, okay, would you think 66% of the world would stop eating meat? In your best case, like r- realistically, like you know what I mean? Do, do you, oh, I do believe that's going to happen. I believe. Uh, I believe uh, that. Eventually, I believe, but like, I believe that it's going to be tough. animal meat will no longer be consumed. Period. Right. Period. Period. period, period. Okay. That, 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 that's cool. And I, products in general. I, I don't. Like I don't. I don't necessarily believe that for sure. I could. I, I could be wrong. I'm. Sure, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure. down. I'm down for being wrong. I appreciate that. I would just say that. Um, I would say there's there's another way there's another way to kind of go about this veganism kind of thing. Yeah. Is that maybe we just tell people I was just being regimented a bit, and I see all the health benefits that come out of veganism are coming out of the the, the uh, what's it called the regiment okay. of being vegan. The long term repercussions I can't I, I can't make a point on. I, I don't know anyone who's been vegan for 20 years. I don't even how long has veganism been around? I mean, there are, I've met people that've been vegan over 20 years. I, yeah. I think I've met someone who's vegan like 51 years or something. But yeah, I mean, the veganism as a definition was coined in please, 1944. I yeah, think, so it's still please, relatively please new. Please send me. Um, I do research on people who are older. You know, who've been Very good. doing all that. So like, I always see what they're doing. So the the way I point like to say like I, I really respect what you're doing, man. Um, I would do say I I do have to say that there might be a little bit of harm to people going vegan because they're not going to be doing it properly. Just like there's going to be harm to people, uh, you know, switching to a six meal a day diet who aren't doing it properly. Yeah. So without information, it, th- these things are very dangerous. And this is a very new kind of thing that we don't have all, I like mountains of information. We do yes. have mountains of information on the style that I'm eating. Not, not particularly the time thing, but the way I'm eating. We have a lot of information on that. And the information, if you're eating properly, says one thing. I don't know what the information is on veganism. That's all it is. Then have a look into it. You know, yeah. this is the thing. We exactly. gotta scrutinize everything we do. No, and, and that's what it is because I was I was very big on just like you know what I gotta try this freaking vegan diet. Yeah. I, I I gotta try it out. Like no, there's there, there, there's some kicks to it. I saw my performance going down. It kind of threw me off. Maybe I was doing something wrong. Oh, yeah. So who knows? Who knows? so next month, wait actually no next month I'm bulking. September I'll do the vegan diet because okay. I'm maintaining my weight. Okay. 
Thank you, man. Appreciate that was, the that, was, that was a lot of fun. That was yeah, a lot was of fun. fun well, yeah. <laughs> if you ever want to do like a, a sit down or anything like that, maybe talk so. about I anything else, man. So. I'm, I don't live here, but um, <laughs> but we can maybe sort something out. Oh, oh that's like that, 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 I live here. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah, I, 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 I would honestly love that. That was that was well done. I ask you, is it is it is it tasty? Well, yeah, but. Oh, well, 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 yeah, but a lot of people say that it, it, vegan food isn't very tasty. No, 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 this is this is very good, but okay. it's... um, And it's got 20 grams of protein in it. 20 grams? Complete protein as well, so all the amino acids you need are found in there. 20 grams of complete protein. We said earlier, maybe 56 to 60 grams a day for an adult man. So you already got a third of your daily protein needs in that one burger alone. Fuck, I'm hungry. There you go. He's hungry, right? And if you had bread on there, like some good whole grain bread, you get a bit more protein as well. Why would you get bread on that? So you don't want ice Why would you want to, why would you want to ruin that with yeah, bread? That's why I didn't get it. Before. Thank you, man. This guy knows that yeah, this guy knows that I'm fucking doing. Oh, don't there. leave me hanging, brother. <laughs> um, so it's tasty. Yeah. And would you course. buy it again? Well, yeah, but we'd not buy it again. We bought it for you. Would you? Would you order it? No, I would, no, I don't buy fast food, so no. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great then. No, but it's good. Well, if you're asking me personally, if, if you're asking me from a consumer point of view, yeah, why not? But the thing is, right? Like, you can buy these burgers, and it'd be the same as buying like a steak, right? So it'd be. The, you know, you say you have steak and potatoes every day. You could have Beyond Meat burgers and potatoes every day, right? So with that in mind, like if you can eat like what you eat now, get the protein that you have, it's got the iron and stuff in there as well, then you're not having to make any big changes because you're just changing the steak to the... To I won't make meat. any point until I do this for a month. Okay. When we'll I do, do it. it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go, um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, yeah. Promo. That's a, that's a paid promo for Beyond Meat now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, but this is, we were talking about I'll how like... I'll track my workouts. Yeah. August. While yeah. I'm bulking, while I'm doing my thing, I'm going to track my workouts, um... I'm gonna track my workout September. Yeah. And I'm gonna see if there's there's any kind of uh, what's it called thing for this. Yeah. If there's any kind of validity towards this. If my performance stays the same, stays stagnant, does whatever, I'm going back to eating meat. Sorry, buddy. If my performance goes up, we'll, we'll start talking about well, it. Say it stays stagnant, right? Well, what's the issue there then? If it stays the same, that just proves that there's no in it, there's no inadequacies in being vegan. No, but let's just say like I can't get, get like I'm not getting any gains on it. But I'm you're getting... maintaining in September. Okay. Uh, if I can maintain, and then okay. if I can't get if I can't do a surplus diet and gain on it. Okay. Then we'll talk about it a little more. So I'll probably be doing this for about six weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So six weeks is good. Vegan diet for six weeks. Yeah, for awesome. six weeks. For six Yay. weeks. Cool. Yay! Can you say that again? What are you going to do? Eat a vegan diet for six weeks to prove you guys that it's going to affect your performance and probably have some health ramifications. He wants to do it to prove it's wrong, but in six weeks' time, we'll see. <laughs> okay, cool. I appreciate that.